Hi there, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. In today's video, I am trying a new filter. It's a lavender filter. So hopefully it can capture these colours nicely. This will be the Christmas special spin. So you should be getting this one just before Christmas or on Christmas Day. So if it is Christmas Day, uh, happy Christmas to everyone. And I hope you are all having a wonderful day with family and friends. So in this video, I will be spinning up some Merino and Bamboo in some lovely Christmas colours. Woo! So this is going to be my base fibre. I have decided to do a chunky slob yarn with extras. So I am also going to add some fabric. Now the lavender filter does not pick up the right colour for this. It is a very hard colour red to capture. It is very hard to describe what colour it is. More like a rose red with dark maroon. And then we've got the green, which is pretty much what you see here. So I'm not I'm sort of like dusting up if it's going to look any good with this, considering the base fibre is very colourful. But I will test it. And then if I feel that it doesn't suit it, I will take it out and we will just go with the Super Slub Auto Wrap and the Christmas Sari Silk. Um, this is recycled Sari Silk. So it's a, a mixture of silk threads and silk fiber in red and green and mixed others so this color isn't this bright this color is more of a fire engine red a bit darker than that Bright greens are exact to what it is, and it's got specks of different colours in it, like magenta, blue, yellow, and stuff like that. And I thought this might be cool to add into it, like adding into the slubby fat sections and stuff like that. Then I thought, oh, even if it was in the the skinny sections too would be pretty cool but I'm not sure how it's going to spin into it um, with the yarn type of yarn that I'm making but we will test it and we will see if it looks good it's all about trial and error I am going to also auto wrap it with a mulberry silk thread so um i think i know that it is going to pop with the white bamboo so i think it's going to look really interesting after it's finished 
Um, it won't be core spun because I want a stronger structure. So when I go to ply this, I will be using cotton twine because this gives a stronger yarn for anyone that is wanting to use it especially anyone that wants to use it with um, tapestry and macrams um, so yes that's what I use I used to do, used to use silk but I found it was too lofty and fall apart and break easy. So this is my go-to thing now for this type of yarn. So let's pan you down so we can get into the making. So to start this one, I want to clean it up from the last one I made. I need to put a bit more twist into this one so the um, the settings has to be a lot higher um, I have it slightly over halfway mark Put your auto wrap yarn or thread directly under your orifice. This is your orifice, so it has to be directly under. I put it into a bucket. All right, to start, I need to cut a couple of the fabric for a tester. about yay in length this is chiffin fabric it is so soft and it is easy to manipulate some length of this sari silk this also makes the yarn slightly longer than what you would normally get it especially doing a chunky yarn and which also uses up a lot of your fiber and you only get a small length but if you can work out a way to get the most out of it and still achieve your thick, super chunky look, then do it. Now I need to prep the base. 
I'm going to I am just going to split this into four sections. So I'm going to go half and then half again on both sides and that's as thick as I'm going to try and make it. Because I want some really thick chunky beehives. Now the good thing about super chunky slug or any slug, you can knit with it, you can crochet and you can weave in any way with it. So you can weave with it on a normal loom and you can also tapestry weave with it and even use it in macrams. Did I cut that by accident? Just remember if you're going to crochet with it, you're not going to get much length. So just use it for your texture. I'm going to split this in half. From one end to the other. And then you separate it, open it up like so, find the center and pull from one end to the other. So I might just do that. Um, hmm. should I make it a bit more? Just remember when you're making something like this, the more strips, the longer your yarn. The less strips, the more chunky your yarn. So, I'm going to split it again. And then that way I can do a technique which mixes the colours and makes it spirally. To make it thick. So I'm going to do that with um, probably four strips I'll do that and then the next half of this fiber I'm just going to strip it once in half Like so, maybe so that's as thick as I'm going to try get the slubs. Um, so this is a trick if you want to spin a thicker yarn than normal. 
than you're used to you will strip your fiber into uh, long strips to the thickness that you are trying to achieve then you don't um, draft it all that much um, such as you easier when you're trying to get a slob yarn but if you are after something like an Iran weight you would strip it depending on if you're going to ply this with itself or with thread um, if you are going to do it with thread, you will strip it to that thickness. If you are applying it onto yourself, you would do half of that and then ply it with itself. But I'm doing a super, super chunky, super jumbo yarn so I need it pretty thick so with the sari silk I will show you in a minute what I'll be doing um, if you spin too much of the sari silk it tends to sorry it bumped you it tends to um, go stiff so I need this to be an extra twist which it is on because when I go to ply it if you don't have that extra twist you will end up losing your structural and it will unravel on itself and you will have to manually twist the fiber again in order to ply it and that is a pain in the bum all right so i tie it on to the end of the leader And I will draft it a little bit before I get too far into it I'm going to add my auto wrap so to add your auto wrap you want to put it directly down the center of your fiber and then you will draft it over the top of it you will spin it in the center of your yarn that you're making draft it a little bit and continue to put it back into the center When you've got it in there a little bit, probably that length in the center, then you grab your auto wrap and you put it above your finger. Lift your hand so it's above the orifice, and that le that um, auto wrap will run down to the orifice, and you want it to keep stay there. And continue see how that's happened and now it is down there making texture it will run back over the top of this and continue I will make a flop a big fat one hopefully there we go I'm going to have a 
long thin sections just so I can get the most out of this yarn. It will be a super chunky fun textured yarn. Alright, now that I've got a couple of them going, I'm going to add in another element. And I think it should be some of the sari silk. Now I do apologise if these colours are off, okay? So I can do this two ways. I can add it to the chunky bit or I can core spin it on to the single which I might try so you just start it and you get it to wrap around on that and these are going to form little chunky sections of their own like so And you can unravel that a little bit so you can continue to draft it like so and then you've got a little puff and it's it's um core spun on there and then you do a slab I'm going to do one of those for every three slubs, I think. Like so. And then I'm going to try add another one. Let it go on there how it would like to go on there. And always make sure you've got extra length for it to grab. So you have to make sure you're constantly drafting here. Alright, the next one will be the next one will be some fabric that is going to go onto the slub so you draft your slub and then you get it, no it didn't work, okay. I won't be adding one of them, it's just too tricky and too much stuff's going on in this yarn. So I'm going to just continue to do three slubs and then one sari silk wrap. Um, this will be interesting if it actually looks any good once it's finished, but it is a, um, experiment. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. It is sort of a tutorial, but it's also a learning thing. Um, we are all learning together. So, hope you enjoy this one. And I will start it back up shortly. Hi there. Um, welcome back. This is part two of the Christmas special. Um, this is how 
the Christmas um, single has come up. It's actually a lot more richer than this. Um, it's more of a dark um, red and burgundy. So unfortunately I can't get colours correct on this phone. So maybe 2023 I'll be able to get a new one um, and some new equipment maybe but for now we can just make do with what I've got um, so this is all bold and ready to go I'm going to be making them into um, a thick and thin beehive kind of yarn so stay tuned for that I'm just going to put music on um, and I hope you enjoy it I've also been making a lot more art yarns so they will be in the shop 2023 so keep an eye out keep an eye out if you're looking for new stuff um, so I'm gonna have a mix of super coil and um, single plies so 2023 keep an eye out all right, let's get into it. Hope you enjoy. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Two ago. 